What's up, everybody? My name is Eric Bland. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel. I really do appreciate it. So I want to say thank you for all the subscriptions. So don't forget to hit the like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. So let's talk about how I've been making money for free. Free items out of the garbage. I know it sounds crazy, kind of nasty, if you will. Um, but this is like something that I was doing when I'm driving the truck around, I find something in the garbage and I'm like, oh, I could probably repurpose that or I could redo that. So let me go over how much money I've made in the last week and a half. I have made $479 by taking things out of the trash or finding something for a really good deal knowing I could flip it. All right, so let me just go down the uh, the list here and tell you how much I got it for if I bought it. I only bought one thing in here and sold it and made $160 profit, but I'll share with that with you here in just a minute. So I have everything right here on my tablet. So I have it in a, um, <laughs> in a uh, graph form. So then that way I can go ahead and take a look at it. I wanna know what my product is, how much I bought it for, my asking price, my sold price, what my profit is, and how many days turnaround it did, okay? So I know that making a big thing like this may be crazy for most of you guys, but I do wanna see how much I make. Uh, so in the last week and a half, like I said, I made $479. Uh, product, the very first product I have is DeWalt uh, battery. It's the brand new batteries that go in. Uh, I was driving the motorcycle, I found one laying on the ground, I thought, hey, I have a charger uh, for that same battery. Why don't I just go ahead, turn around, and see if it even works? I hit the power button on it. It did not turn on, so I thought maybe it's really, really dead. I went home, plugged it in. It works. So I sold it for twenty-five dollars. I hit it for twenty-five dollars. Uh, metal roll of fence. It's like a chicken wire, but the little square pattern ones. Uh, I put it up for five bucks. I found it in the garbage, so it didn't have any cost into that either. Uh, 12 person tent. This was actually a really good, um, I mean, this is, you don't really get these often, but when you do, it's like a home run. So I went, uh, I went on our garbage day the night before I found a 12 person tent and this is actually really, really funny. Uh, the 12 person tent was sitting there and I pulled up to next to the curb and the guy was actually doing uh, vacuuming, like shop vacuuming in his garage. And I said, sir, what's wrong with the tent? It's all the pieces there. He goes, there's one metal stake that's not there. It's fiberglass. We used to use a wooden dowel and I can't find it. And then other than that, it works perfect. So I went and took a look at this 12 person tent at uh, Walmart, it's $239.99. So I thought, man, if I put it up for 65 bucks, I could probably get 65 bucks for it. I did get $65 for it, but I got a text message or a message inside of um, Facebook Marketplace and the guy goes, you jerk. Um, how do you put it? He didn't say you jerk. He said a couple um, swear words in there. Like you asshole. <laughs> like I can't believe you would resell this when you picked it out of my garbage. And I was like, the problem is, is he didn't see the value in it. And I did. And I turned around and sold it instead of putting it on the, the curbside, right? Um, let's do this. It's a diesel truck that just went by. I had the doors open here in Michigan today. It's beautiful. Uh, 12 person tent sold it, uh, or asked 65, sold it for 65, $60, $65 profit. Shag shaggy chic coffee table. I seen this coffee table. It was junk. Top was all repainted on the top. I'm going to show you these pictures here so you guys can see it, but and then the wood bottom and it was like, it rocked back and forth, but it was all wood. I drove by it, I'm like, nah, most of those are particle board. I really don't wanna mess with particle board because you can't repaint it, you can't sand it down, and it's a, it's a nightmare and it needs to be in the garbage, okay? So, but I turned around, I'm like, let me just see if it's wood. It was all wood. And I was like, this is, this is perfect, it's another home run. So I took it home, sanded it down, put about 45 minutes into it. I already had the paint and I already had the paint brushes. I would always, when I go to the dollar store for something, I always grab the paint brushes. They come in three, like one real small one, a little bit wider, and the biggest one that they have over at the dollar store, and they come in a three pack for one buck. So I'm like, okay. So I got that. That was an awesome hit. I paid uh, absolutely nothing for that. Found it out of the garbage. Had the screws, had the, um, I put two inch screws down at the bottom to make it a lot more sturdier. I mean, it was sturdy as can be. 
Uh, I put it up for 80 bucks and I got $80 for it. It took uh, two days to sell it. I put it on in the evening, right around like 5.30, and the person couldn't, couldn't come till the next day, so I thought that was a good deal. Um, I had picked up a bike for my son last year uh, out of the garbage. It needed a new um, pedal, the piece that goes inside of the pedal. The pedal was bent like this. I just took the old piece off of his old one, old pedals off of his old littler bike, and put that piece in there. Actually, my son was like, Dad, why don't we take the old one off and put it in here? I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so smart. So we did that, and I ended up, uh, he's, he found another bike, I found another bike um, for him, and he's like, uh, Daddy, you can sell mine. I'm like, okay, perfect. So I sold, put it up for $22, sold it for $22. That took a day, I mean, it was on there for about uh, less than an hour, and the lady already had came and picked it up, so... Um, Chevy Chic chair, redid a chair, it was over a hundred year old chair, it was in a, um, little, it's not little, it's, it's a mansion over here in New Baltimore, it's a huge, huge home, right on the water, they actually, they just put it up for sale, uh, but, uh, it was in her attic, I found it in the garbage, I was riding my pedal bike, and I'm like, man, I really like that chair, so, they had no back on it, and no, um, seat cushion on it. And I had to redo it, but I had everything that I needed for it already. Um, I had this old um, patterned um, fabric from, I got that from Hobby Lobby years ago. Never did anything with it. So I was like, man, I could cover that. And then I already had the cushions um, from another chair that was getting thrown away. So I just reused everything. Uh, I sold that for uh, $30. I was asking $30 for it. That was two days. Uh, power washing um, scrubber. I got this power washing scrubber that you put on the end of your um, wand and you scrub this, you do it for sidewalks and driveways. And somebody threw it away because of the um, rubber seals went bad on it. So I put it on there for 20 bucks, said the rubber seals probably need to repl be replaced. The guy brought me 20 bucks, no problem at all. Um, old desk. It was an old school desk with two slots in it. So I had a slot here for the books and everything, and slots here for books. And I sold that for 35, asked for 35, and I had 22 something hits on that. So that was really awesome. That was in uh, two days. Uh, milk crates, I got a bunch of free milk crates uh, last year from the ice cream store that's up in Chesterfield. And he, he says, yeah, come and get them. I'm not gonna use them. So. I said, all right, perfect. I had 12 of them, and I went ahead and got $2 a piece for them. So that took a day. And then the biggest amount of money that I put, so I used a little bit of my own money other than the, just the garbage money to buy it, but I bought a um, electric bike. It was a Hoover One, and they range about $7.99 to $1,000 if you look them up on Amazon. I actually did the review on it, okay? I bought it for $340, which I knew was a bargain. It was a steal of a deal. I rode it around. It had 60-something thousand miles on it. I rode it 40,000, or 40,000, 40 miles. Myself, my sons, um, cruised it around, my brother. Uh, we took it camping with us. I mean, it was awesome. It was good. I got an accident. If I rolled over the handlebars on it. Um, but uh, I ended up selling it. For 500 I asked 500 for it and I sold it for 500 because they had so many hits on it. Um, so all that together, I have $479 after I take out my money, the 340 and put it back into my savings. But now just in the garbage money that I have is $400, or $479. Um, and what I'm saving for, I think I'm just wanting to buy a GoPro 8 with my garbage money, okay? So I won't have to pay for it. It will be absolutely free, I think. I think that's what I wanna buy. If it continues to accumulate like this, because I have a bunch of other stuff that I picked out, then maybe I'll buy a car and try to flip it. And I don't know where it's gonna go, but um, I'm having fun. And that is 12 items that I've sold so far for a grand total of $479. So I put a 50, 50 spots open and available, and I can't wait to see how much I'll make on 50 items. Hopefully, you know, 
maybe a thousand, two thousand. I don't know. It's all free money. It's coming from the garbage. You have to have an eye for you know redoing stuff. I love doing our new furniture. I needed a bedside table. Um, I redid it, and uh, I'll put a picture of the re the repurposed table there. Um, I just love doing that stuff, but. Uh, this is a good way to make some extra money. And like I said, I made this in a week and a half, you guys. So $479 in a week and a half by just doing this extra. I run a window cleaning business, a gutter cleaning business, and a power washing business, okay? Power washing is, is slowing down, but it's nowhere near like dead slow, okay? And the window cleaning business is always busy, and the gutter cleaning business is getting even busier because fall's right around the corner. So. I'm extremely busy, so there's no excuse for you guys to say, oh, I don't have time for that. I really don't have time for it either, but when I'm meeting people around the corner from me at a, um, I always meet them at a Big B Coffee because it's right around the corner from me, but I'm telling you guys, I, I it's it's awesome. It's very cool. A little bit of extra money in my pocket, and hopefully I can get that Go, uh, GoPro 8 whenever it's supposed to be out, September, at the end of September. Uh, maybe, I don't know, a car see if I can flip it for even more I don't know where it's gonna go but I'm having fun and I'm making money love you guys see you